<laughs> from the perspective of how you see members coming to you for help and that kind of thing. So, and we are live, ladies. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our RC ISSA residential open house today. Uh, we're excited to uh, invite everyone to join us. We have several great RC ISSA, now called ISSA residential members here who are going to be sharing their experiences. And then we're going to open the floor for some questions too towards the end. Um, we'll be watching. Uh, we're live on Facebook. So um, I believe with StreamYard, if this is correct, Erin, if you're, you have to give StreamYard permission to show your name, is that right? Um, maybe, that I don't know. I'm not an okay. expert in this, I don't know, but I already see, uh, Mark Baker said he's having trouble joining, so I'm- Okay, all right. Um, yeah, so, uh, but if you are joining us live, you'll be able to post your questions in Facebook and we'll be able to answer those. Uh, so we, we welcome your comments and let us know you're here, say hello, tell us where you're from uh, in the comments. We would love to hear about that. And if you're watching this on the replay, you can still post your questions and comments uh, because we'll be monitoring that as well. So first off, I'd like to introduce our guests for today. So first off, I'd like to introduce Sharon Tinberg. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Good. Good. And can you tell us a little bit about your business and how long you've been a member of RC now ISSA Residential? I think it's been 18 years. Uh, so I was short two of the 20 year anniversary. Um, I came in as a residential cleaning service owner. I had that for about three years, and then I became a coach and developed training programs. So it's part of my story. I don't know if you want me to tell it now. Yeah, we'll do that. We're going to have each of you share your story of membership. So why don't we go ahead and have Sharon do that right now? That'd be great. Well, um, in 2005 was, I believe, when I went to the first, would that make sense? The first ARCSI convention, we were, um, I thought we were little. We were in Austin, Texas. There was nobody to talk to. There was really no internet because Google came about and that Google was born in 1998. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, cleaning services were not a high priority on the internet at that time. So I knew nothing. And my husband brought in at the time, brought in the magazine saying that there was a convention in Las Vegas with 5,000 people there. How could you have missed this? And I'm like, how could I have missed this? And when I got there, I realized it was 280, but you know, it was a great experience. <laughs> I, I did um, 1.6 million at the time. So we were very popular. We were probably twice as large as anybody there. Did I learn anything? I learned two things. One is I spent my entire 18 years trying to figure out why I couldn't do 20 million. Because, you know, when you're in the corporate world, you do millions every month and suddenly mm -hmm. you can't do a million in a year. And it's like, what is the problem? What am I doing wrong? So my expectation was wrong. So I was able to find out from ARCSI that, hey, I'm doing quite well. Yes. So leave yes. It. especially well, at that, that, really that time, good. that was a lot of money back then. Yeah, it was. Yeah, because we built it 28, 15 hours. So it was, yeah, a lot of money. But from that, three years later, I did divorce my partner. And it's like, what happens now? I mean, he got the business. I got the ranch. But what am I going to do? And ARCSI taught me there is definitely life after cleaning service ownership. And I think that's important for people who are not in their 20s to hear because there is life after owning your business. I had a coaching, I did, co I did some coaching. I did a lot of office visits and now I have the training program. There is life so, yeah. That's outstanding. Yeah, so it, it helps you with your career progression. <laughs> it helps you, you know, and at, there's, there's something at every stage of growth and it's great to be around others who have been there before you, who can share. Yes. So that's so great. Thank you for sharing your story. Well, next, how about Robin Murphy? Robin, can you introduce yourself? Tell us where you're located, how long you've been a member. Sure. I'm Robin Murphy, and I am located, uh, we have two offices, one in White Plains, New York. We service the suburbs north of New York City, and then we have another office up in Hartford, Connecticut area. And so been in business for 27 years. Um, I I can't say for sure, but I think we were we were members right from the very beginning. We were friendly with Perry. Um, who started, I don't remember what it was called before ARCSI anymore. My brain is like lost it, but, but what it was before ARCSI. Um, and it was awesome coming to um, the early conventions and meeting the other, you know, the other business owners, really smart, 
people who who understood and still to this day it, it's um i've been a member i've been active on and off at different you know kind of peaks and valleys of my business and my personal life and um but it, it's it's a really i've met people who are really important to me and my business and my professional development and my personal development and um I'm just trying to think of like, th there's not like just one thing about being a member of Arxy that, you know, is it for me. Um, but one, th I mean, I have to say, can we talk about the changing of the name? Can we talk about that here now? Sure, or yeah. I mean, we are going to talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, but go I'm ahead. So okay. I I'm sorry if I'm jumping ahead, but I think it's really um, great that it is, staying in front right that it's innovating that i kind of feel like home cleaning the home cleaning industry as a whole i'm not talking about people the members of arxy um or anybody in particular but i think it's kind of a a, a stuck industry i don't want to say it's backwards because i don't think it goes backwards but i think a lot of people in this industry aren't thinking of ways to to do things differently and that is definitely what I see uh, with the people that I know from RC and my membership and I think the changing the name is is something there um, right. so anyway sorry yeah yeah no and the home industry the home cleaning industry is the fastest growing segment I think in the whole home services industry and so we really need to stay on the forefront of that so that's a really good point exactly all right. Well, next up, Goja, can you share with us, um, introduce yourself, share with us where you're located and um, how long you've been a member and why being a member is important to you? Sure. Hello, everyone. I'm Gosha Barron. I am located in the suburbs of Chicago. I've been in business since 2001, so it's been quite a while, 22 years. Um, I've been a member of ARCSI, I believe, since 2008. Um, I'll never forget that. I got a postcard in the mail that there was a luncheon in, um, in, in Chicago. So I was so excited to see this because I was, I felt so alone. Like I was on a uh, deserted island. I didn't know what to do. Um, couldn't really grow my business. It was hard to grow the business, especially being, um, trying to build the business, being a mom, and trying to figure out what to do. So it was hard. So I was excited. I went for the luncheon. I, that was the day when my amazing journey has started with ARCSI. Uh, throughout the years, I met so many friends. Uh, Sharon is here. One of very, she helped me save my business. I believe that was 2016 when I called her and I said, I'm done with this. And she's like, what's wrong? You're not done. <laughs> but, um, and that's when she came and trained my uh, staff, my cleaners. Wow. And um, it was incredible. Uh, I've met so many amazing friends um, because of the relationship that we built here. We can always support each other. Um, so I actually do have two different, two companies. I have resident, Helping Hands Residential, Helping Hands Commercial. And um it's incredible to see the growth and the potential and having the support with our AS, ARCSI or ISSA residential uh, members um, as, as, as the support that we can help each other. Today, we were on a call with a couple other members because there, someone had an issue with a the client. They didn't know how to solve. And together, we were able to solve this, right? We are not alone. So that's, that's the beauty. Right what yeah. i love about this community yeah that is so great and i love your story of getting connected through that postcard you know that it, inviting others is such an important part of our growth as an organization i'm going to be talking a little bit more about that later um also we have stacy conkle on here today mm -hmm. she's another one of our issa residential ambassadors hi stacy can you introduce hi. yourself and yep. where you're located and give us a, a brief story of your journey of course. Um, yep. Yeah, Stacy Conkle. I am out of Northwest Arkansas. So the Bentonville, Fayetteville area, the land of Walmart. Mm -hmm. um, land of Walmart. And so <laughs> I, I got into residential cleaning a year ago and I started my membership with ARCSU, now ISSA residential 
a year ago. So when I knew I was going to get into residential cleaning, um, I, I'm, I'm aware of trade associations, you know, and that's really what I was looking for is, okay, who's kind of leading the charge here? And so I just did a Google search and that's how I found it. <laughs> and then uh, while looking into, um, I'm just going to refer to it as ARCSI because that's what it was at the time. While I was looking into or looking at ARCSI, um, I was looking at all of what it has to offer. And um, right away, we signed up and got our uh, staff trained through the um, certificate or got them certified with some of the training in there. And it was one of the best first steps we made because um, we were uh, we were new to residential, very new, like we were all short term rentals mm -hmm. <laughs> and it is just a different animal. So we had some uh, some learning to do. That's but great. Um, I so in the beginning, it was just plugging into the right people. Right. Um, and since then, it has become really it's just I have I've met mentors, uh, friends, people that I text and message um, every week when I need help or, you know, to bounce something off of. Um, and, and then recently went to an event. So I'm just making sure that I'm staying very involved. And I used to say residential just makes it easy. You know, there's, there's always uh, something going on or, you know, a coffee and conversations or training or uh, a resource, you know, like got plugged in with better insurance through Moody Insurance because of ISSA residential. So um, I, I'd say it's probably one of the best moves we made and I was uh, wise enough to do that right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, that is such a great story. I, I I wish that I would have been that wise. That's so wonderful. <laughs> yes. And I love that we have, you know, veteran members here and our wonderful new member, Stacy. Uh, that's so great. And we also have with us today our ISSA, ISSA Residential Program Manager, Erin uh, Lash. So, Erin, can you share with us a little bit? Um, you know, we talked a lot recently about this rebrand and the 20th anniversary of ISSA Residential. And Erin has been with ISSA for many years, uh, has, has seen <laughs> a lot of changes. Um, so I, you're on mute. Let's I start. am. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. But, yeah. So, so you, yes. So can you share with us a little bit about why you're excited about our um, 20th anniversary and the um, rebranding that we've been working on for the last year and a half? It, you know, it really is a big year for us. We started off, you know, with the celebration right off the bat, letting everybody know that it's been 20 years and that we're so proud to be here uh, serving members and being a part of ISSA. And, you know, it's weird. There's a lot of confusion in the marketplace and we're like, you know, was, with ISSA doing so much, I, you know, and I know um, I talked about this earlier with some other people. Uh, last year, we had a, you know, a huge campaign with uh, Howie Mandel, the uh, Rethink Clean campaign. Uh, we have at ISSA a wonderful advocacy program. And I have so many members that weren't sure if, you know, those were applicable to them and how to plug into that. And I said, if you're a member of ARCSI, you're a member of ISSA. So this is right. just a farther to remove any confusion and let them know that they are part of ISSA. And that as we celebrate our 20th anniversary, they're celebrating their 100th anniversary. But at the same time, we want to make sure that this is transparent, that everybody understands what's going on, why the decisions were made, you know, all the work that went into it. And to really just, you know, as we, it's to be a smooth transition and that our core values will still be the same. You know, we're still going to provide the same benefits, the same services, the same education. Um, in fact, we're only adding to it. So, you know, really, there's, you know, I say it all the time, but there's never been a better time to be a member. That's for sure. Well said. And it is. It's a very exciting time. Love to be able to celebrate with our whole community, uh, our 20th anniversary for ARCC, now ISSA Residential, and our 100th anniversary for ISSA. And um, I didn't explain who I am, but uh, I'm Jeannie Henderson. I'm the CEO of Jeannie Cleaning, and I'm also the chairperson for the ISSA Residential Cleaning Council. So I have been able to kind of watch this unfold over the last year or so as we've talked about this rebrand. And I've been very inspired by all the stories. We talked to many members uh, as we were going through this process and industry experts and other um, ISSA uh, leaders. And uh, it has just been such an inspiring journey uh, to see this organization work to constantly innovate um, as Robin was talking about. Uh, we do want to stay at the forefront and constantly be offering 
uh, value to our members and opportunities to connect. Because um, I, I heard a common thread through everyone's story that um, when you find ISSA, you find that you don't have to go it alone anymore. You have the support of this wide ranged um, community of all different sizes of business, people of all different levels of experience mm -hmm. that you can lean into. And there's always someone to connect with. And since I've joined ISSA, I've just been amazed by getting to know all the experts in the industry. I got to meet all the rock stars like in one ISSA show. And it was just I got to meet Sharon and, you know, all these people. And I, I was it. I mean, like people I've been following for years and they're right there and you just get to know them and get yeah. to hang out with them and learn from them in person. Uh, so it, it was just an exciting experience for me, my first ISSA show. So I'm, I've been in ISSA for a little over four years now. So, and I, I didn't start my business till 2016. And uh, so, you know, I'm a, I'm kind of a newbie in the industry, but have been a business owner for over 35 years. So it's interesting to be in a different trade association. And I will say one thing about this trade association is the closeness of the people in this association has really impressed me. I've been part of, I was part of the nationwide rest, national restaurant association for many years. And I never developed friendships like I have here. I mean, it's just been so quick that I've had so many new friends and people I can call in the middle of the night and say, help, I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, well, thank you everyone for sharing. Um, you know, as Aaron was saying, the, the rebrand is not changing RC, it's making our opportunities greater as part of ISSA residential. And so we're gonna have a lot to celebrate. The ISSA show is coming up this fall mm -hmm. and we're gonna be having a big celebration there. So I hope that if you haven't registered yet that you get registered. We have an early bird registration going on right now that goes through May 31st. Is that right, Erin? It does and it's members only. You should have gotten an email. It'll have your member ID in there which you'll need to register for it. But again, it's on May, through 30, May 31st and members only right now. Yeah. And don't miss that opportunity. Um, it's going to be in Las Vegas. We're going to start sharing uh, some Las Vegas tips on our ARCC ISSA residential page here pretty soon, uh, getting people excited about going to Vegas. Uh, so, um, but don't miss this chance and get your hotels booked early because yeah. it's a busy season in Vegas and you want to have a good room uh, to be a part of that show. Well, talking more about, um, ISSA residential, and we will have some time for questions. So if any questions come up, if you're watching us live or you're watching us on the replay, if any questions come up at any time, go ahead and pop those in the chat, in the comments, because uh, we do want to answer those. Um, but I would like to hear from each of our guests today a little bit about some of the, I'll go a little deeper um, on some of the things that you've done, some of the strategies that you have done uh, to get more involved and to get the value of your ISSA residential membership. You know, we all like being part of a trade association and dropping that logo on our website. Uh, by the way, the new logo is live and available on the ISSA residential website. You can download that, add that and link it to your website. Um, but there's so much more, uh, that's here for us. And, um, so I'd like to ask each of you to kind of share a little bit. I want to start with Goja. She has been really involved with RJ Patel um, creating a monthly event. And it has just been so popular. So many people have been attending it. It's exciting to watch it grow. And it's been a great resource. I've been hearing so much great feedback, Goja. Uh, Goja and RJ host Coffee and Conversations. It's the first Thursday of every month. So tell us about that journey a little bit and how relationship building is such an important part of being a member of ISSA Residential. Uh, yes, Jeannie. So uh, Aaron and RJ and I were having a conversation one time, right, last year. Uh, I believe that was in Dallas or we were somewhere having lunch and we were talking I, was, I thought you were going to say having coffee. <laughs> 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 we're having lunch, and um, we came to the conclusion that we are missing that interaction, face face to face, sort of speak, um, 
meeting type meetings, right? We have the Tuesday uh, meetings uh, uh, once a month, right, Erin? Is that right, correct? Once a month with ARCSI or more often? We at least do a webinar once a month. We typically, we you know, have like, you know, one that's education and one that's more member benefit focused. So as, as a face, uh, as Zoom has been so popular, we came to the conclusion uh, after having this conversation, why don't we come up with something that we can actually interact with our uh, members and they can, we can see each other. That's what we were missing. We were missing that interaction with people and connecting with people. And so that's how Coffee and Conversation was born. And we had our first uh, live Zoom um, Coffee and Conversation back in December. And yes, it's been very popular. We have great speakers. Um, and this is our goal is to really connect us. We want to see each other. We want to see just over a webinar, we don't see each other. So this one at least connects us together, right? Mm -hmm. So we are like, oh, Jeannie looks so great. It's great to see you or mm -hmm. Stacy. We can kind of build that relationship uh, by seeing people. So we strongly believe that really it helps us reconnect. Yeah. And it, you know, people really need that. We, we can't, we can't be out there and be an island as you were saying, you know, it's like you have to, you have to connect with other people. We need that sense of being part of something bigger and you've done such a great job with it. I love the structure, you know, bringing on a guest speaker each time. And this next time in June, I believe it's June 1st, right? That June 1st, yeah. Be, um, John Barrett, Barrett our, right? Um, CEO or president? Is it CEO? It's the, the executive director for executive um, director? That title, yes. Our executive director, great. John Barrett from ISSA, is going to be joining us for that coffee and conversation. Awesome. And so I encourage everyone to attend. Be sure, um, Aaron just shared the link right there. You, when you register, you can get all of those dates put on your calendar in one fell swoop. Um, so it reminds you every month to attend. And, um, but don't miss this one. It's going to be great. We're going to be talking all about our rebrand and our anniversary. And um, I encourage you to invite a friend uh, because it's, uh, you're doing them a favor by getting them involved. So share that link with everyone you know in the cleaning industry. We'd love to break a record and break our Zoom account with That's too many right. people. <laughs> Aaron, please, please, no, you're scaring me. Uh, how many can you have? A hundred or? I think it's 500, but come on. Oh, okay, let's go. 500. <laughs> no, let's, let's go. <laughs> okay, good. Just lots of coffee. All right, great. Well, um, so let's talk with uh, Robin a little bit. I know, Robin, we were talking earlier how you have taken advantage of some of the cost-saving benefits. And, you know, that's not what it's all about. But, I mean, a membership really pays for itself with everything, all the opportunities that you have available. And Benefits is one of them. So what's one of the benefits that you've taken advantage of recently? For sure. We just signed up with the company to do the background checks. And um, they are super thorough, um, really legitimate. We've had other problems with background check companies in the past where they don't really do what, they, what you think that they're going to do. Um, and these guys seem to, to take care of it all, super easy to work with. And so that's great. I would say another, uh, we, we have had staff um, taking the house cleaner certification, but also let's not forget during COVID, all of the training, all of the information that helped us not only stay safe, but have our staff be, uh, feel in control um, in the positions that they had were really, you know, it wasn't a sure thing that they were in control, but um, thankfully the, the training that ISSA residential ISSA and RCC provided to our staff. Um, and I will say that something else that's really important to my office is we make a big deal in our mm -hmm. office that we are members of the trade association, um, the industry association, and it makes what we explain to our staff is that we're not just one little office or one big office, right? We we are connected, um, and we are. 
just part of something bigger. So, you know, we're, we're important and our industry is important. And um, I find that ARCC and ISSA Residential has done a lot to professionalize our industry. So our staff feel really proud. For certain. Well, I love that because it is so true. Um, it sets us apart. Uh, there are tens of thousands or more uh, cleaning businesses in North America, and we're all looking for ways to differentiate ourselves. And this really sets us apart as a professional business, um, as our industry sometimes has a reputation of not being professional always. And we want to make sure that we're changing that right? For our entire industry. Um, that's so great. Thanks, Robin. And Sharon, uh, you have done, you know, you, as you mentioned, you're a coach and you do a lot of training. You developed a training program. Can you share with us um, about the training that people can benefit from inside of uh, ISSA Residential, all of the things that we have access to and the new training program that you just created, um, you know, is so helpful to our members. So can you share a little bit about that? Yes. As I was sitting here listening to all of you, just let me reflect for a second. I really got my business up and running in Austin by being an advocate for the chamber. I was on the membership chair. I got eventually I became chairman of the Northwest. I mean, but I, we always used to say you get out of the organization what you put into it. Yes. Because the chamber has a rollover like you wouldn't believe, Aaron. <laughs> so it's really a tough one. That's a tough nut to crack. But <laughs> if you got involved, if you got to know people. I would never have had a two million dollar business had it not been for the chamber. I can't be. I could tie myself back to the chamber again and again and again. Ghost is shaking her head, yes, because she just won the chamber member of the year, and I can't imagine. Yes, and I can't imagine how much business you'll get out of that. But that's because you go there and you get involved and you work those lousy business after hours and you get to know people and you put a smile on your face when you'd rather puke. You know, excuse me, but I mean, there are days. <laughs> You really don't want to go there and you do it. Huh. Jeannie, you got so involved in this organization immediately. That's why you know so many people. I don't know Robin and Stacy that well because I, I'm retiring. Remember, I'm on my way out. But Gosha, oh my gosh, she she just got herself on the board and got involved. So mm -hmm. that's a long story to a very short question. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's interesting. That's what I was going to talk about. So I'll expand on that a little bit. But yeah, I think that is one of the best ways to get value out of any organization is to volunteer, get involved, find out how you can help because that's how you get connected. So that's so great. I'm so glad you brought that up. That's a great story. Well, if you and Aaron's going to kill me for this, but if you're just going to write out a check and never do a thing, save the money because you oh, yeah, just to erase that. Money. No, I'm kidding. Gotta, gotta get, Aaron says, write out the check. Never mind. But <laughs> actually that does us more harm than good. It's like a bad cleaning service that gets a client for the first time. She'll probably never use a cleaning service again. Mm -hmm. So you don't want members who said I joined and I got nothing out of it. And I always ask chamber members, did you put anything into it? So, and then, and the, again, long question. So why I think it's great that we now have ISSA is that dashboard itself is worth a, a million dollars or well, not a million, yeah. but you can kick me out. You can kick Liz Trotter out. You can kick Jeannie out. If you just did everything that that dashboard tells you to do and you watched all the free videos, you'd have a multi-million dollar company. So to have that access at your fingertips when I had a Rolodex with three cards of it, when I started my business is amazing and you need to take advantage of it. And yes, I did just thanks to ISSA, I'm able to <clears throat> semi-retire uh, because they licensed my training program. But I'm, I'm liking, I'm wanting to think that they looked hard and it's online. It's state of the art. The flip phone is out. I mean, it's all updated and it works. I mean, the major thing is it works and it works rapidly. So if you want, again, a nice thing about the dashboard. If you want long-term things that train your people but keep them there, and I think it's long-term training that keeps them there, it's there. But if you want a, hey, slam, bam, let's see if you'll work out, ma'am, training program, that would be mine. You'll, you'll have them up and running in a day for, for, so you can see whether or not they're willing, they're worth the investment down the road. So I would say whatever you want is on that dashboard. Just go right. there and start studying. Well, so many levels when it comes to clean, 
training our team, right? We have Sharon's program. We have the PHC. Um, I was on the phone with Bruce Vance, our, our resident expert for the HCT program. You know, so you can learn cleaning at all different levels. There's GBAC, the Global Biorisk Advisory Council trainings. We have so much of that. And then just general dozens and dozens of videos on marketing and finance and profitability and sales and, you know, anything you could possibly want to learn in the residential cleaning business. There are training videos out there on our website to help you with that. So thank you, Sharon, for your part that you play in that. But it's a great benefit. And Stacy, uh, one of our great ambassadors again, um, can you share with us um, a little bit about the ambassador program? And um, we just had that great regional meeting, maybe, and we're trying to do more and we'll be doing more and more of those events. Can you share a little bit about the ambassadors program and then like how the regional meeting, you know, really was helpful to you? Yeah, absolutely. And it was great too. Um, so the ambassador program, you know, there, there's a, a handful of us and we basically are point of contact represented of uh, a region, right? So um, our, we're kind of tasked with spreading the word, um, sharing, sharing our story, um, sharing what is going on at any given time within ISSA residential um, and just um, helping amplify the voice. So um, there's a lot of cleaning, you know, and, I, and I'm more plugged into my local area. Um, and there's just a lot of cleaning professionals that are, you know, small time, um, struggling, uh, just it's easy to get buried alive in your business and um, getting plugged into ISSA residential and all of the folks behind the, the curtain helps you think bigger and it helps, uh, helps refresh your mind. Um, helps you have some hope, you know, and, um, and I think even for people who get into this as a hobby, um, a lot of times it ends up, you, you get a little bit of a spark because you have something here, you know, and then that's, you get some traction and then you hit a wall somewhere along the way early on usually. And, um, you need someone to kind of, you know, someone's got to hold the flashlight and that's what we have here with ISSA residential. So, um, as an ambassador, that's, that's why I wanted to be an ambassador because I know how much it meant for me. And so I, one, I wanted to be really involved. And then two, I wanted to help, um, help everybody else know what's available. Right. Um, and then recently we had the regional event in St. Louis and it was freaking awesome. So one, getting to meet everybody, cause we were just talking about how you get to see them online all the time, you know, but meeting people. And so, and Sharon's kind of a big name that I hear and, and see her face online, but like, I, I got to meet her. I went to her, her day of training and, you know, had lunch with her and talked to her. And it was, it was awesome. Like you had, I had, you had a really big impact on me, Sharon. So thank you. I think yeah. about you almost every day right now because yeah. I'm implementing a lot of what I learned from you, Good uh, but not just you, you know, like seeing the two offices and they were so different. And again, it's just thinking bigger, you know, and, and knowing what's possible. And, and for me, it's like, man, I got a long ways to go here, but, um, I can run a heck of a lot faster uh, with you guys. And that's, that's what this is. That's what this is for people like me. And I imagine almost anybody else who gets involved. That's so great. And I love, yeah. you know, that you just, it's, you've taken such a smart tactic of like just plugging in right away, right out of the gates, because that, you know, as a new business owner, you you've got so much uh, <laughs> available to you that a lot of people are out there just trying to figure it out and they're, trying a hundred different things and you know you don't have to because you've got people who can say this works yeah and uh you know that's so great and yeah. um yeah and we just we have so many experts who regularly participate in our programs like sharon and um and tom stewart and liz trotter and debbie sardone and yeah. gosh the list bruce vance the list goes on and on yeah. and, you know these are people that you know, we've all been watching on YouTube and all of a sudden they're there yes. in person and you get to meet them. It is. It's like yeah. meeting your rock stars. And Robin, too, is also I don't know if I mentioned, but she's also one of our wonderful ambassadors and helping out, reaching out into our community uh, so that people can get to know people better. Mark Baker, I see he's on here with us today, is, is one of our new Canadian ambassadors. Thank you, Mark, for accepting that. And, uh, you know, so we're, we're excited about our ambassador program. I wanted to talk a little bit about the advocacy. Uh, 
Robin mentioned that, that um, this is a big part that's kind of one of those behind the scenes things that you don't realize until you know about it or until something right. bad happens, right? You don't realize you need the advocacy um, until- well, And Jeannie, Gosha actually went to our Clean Advocacy Summit. So as you get into that, Gosha has oh, a really- Oh, that would be wonderful. Like an <laughs> inside yeah, perspective. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab you on that, Goja. So um, I, again, a FOMO, couldn't be there, but I'm so glad you were to represent our residential community. Thank you. And, uh, but, you know, going through COVID, you never knew how much you needed an advocate until that moment, right? But ISSA jumped in right away and fought for everything that we needed to make sure that our businesses were deemed essential and that we had all the information that we needed. And I know that whenever I have any issue, there are all kinds of resources available and legal support and things like that through ISSA that we couldn't have any other way. We would not have these resources available to us as no matter if you're a, you know, a five person cleaning business or a hundred person cleaning business, it's hard to have those resources at your fingertips, but being part of ISSA residential makes that available to you. So Goja, can you share a little bit about the summit? Yes, absolutely. So we, um, it was just three, four, four people from the residential uh, division that mm -hmm. really went to Washington. Uh, and it was an incredible experience. We really, we went to the Capitol Hill. We went to the uh, state and federal um, offices, and we were really trying to advocate to help us through the major issues that we are facing, such as labor. Right. And we were really talking about primarily about immigration. Mm. Is there any chance we can really possibly get some sort of uh, visa, like, for example, farmers have a temporary workers, right? They are able to bring to the uh, country. Why is there, isn't there something like that uh, mm. possibility for the cleaning industry? As now we are not just cleaning for appearance. Um, COVID has changed the cleaning industry. We are view cleaning so differently uh, these days. Uh, in my personal, uh, through our, in our company here in uh, Helping Hands, in the, on the commercial side, many of our actually companies have changed, our clients have changed from weekly to three times a week because they care about the cleanliness, about the health of their, of their customers. So we were really talking mainly about how important cleaning is for this, for the world, for every industry, and how much we struggle with the lack of uh, labor. Mm -hmm. So okay. talking about, for example, in Chicago, we have, I'm sure you all hear about all the migrants coming here from Texas. Mm -hmm. We have thousands of them coming here. What are they doing? <laughs> they said on the news yesterday, give them a temporary social security, give them anything. I mean, they are, uh, our junior college in the north side of Chicago, they, they were announced yesterday, is going to house those people over the summer. They are closing part of that building to house these immigrants from, from uh, they're coming from, uh, uh, they are brought here on buses. Wait, the funny thing is we actually clean the immigration office and we see all these people there. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. But I, I really, I'm so grateful that you were able to be there and thank you for sharing that. It, and that's, what's so important. I mean, this is a, a something we're all dealing with. Uh, labor challenges are pretty much, you know, all across the United States and North America, uh, an issue. And uh, so the fact that our representatives could be like right there in Washington, talking to the policymakers directly about that, that's one of the many things that your ISSA membership, ISSA residential membership helps you with. And one of the big driving factors behind our rebrand was what, what uh, Aaron was talking about was the confusion. You know, ARCSI uh, partnered with ISSA back in 2017. And, um, and since then, you know, we remained ARCSI, but we were a division of ISSA. And there was some confusion because people thought it was two different memberships that they had mm -hmm. to purchase. And it's, but no, it's very clear now as our, with our new rebrand that you are part of a 
global family of uh, resident or of all cleaning owners and um, are all cleaning businesses. But then also um, you can get to be part of our community of residential cleaning business owners. So you get to kind of be connected to the world, but then you're also connected in our um, individual business category of residential. So it's exciting uh, to see what's going to be coming over the next year or so. But there have been so many great things. I just can't get over just today. I'm, I'm a bit overwhelmed when we talk about all that we've accomplished in this organization for our members over this last year. And I'm so proud of our volunteers, all the work that they do. Um, our staff is, you know, at ISSA is so supportive and so, you know, just wanting to do everything to help our members. And we're here to support Um so do we have anybody who has any questions out there in the world that wants to share anything? Or um, also, if anyone wants to put their testimonials in the comments of this video, that would be great. If you're a member and you've had Absolutely. a great experience, we would love to hear about that. Um, so Erin, uh, is there anybody out there? I can't I don't, see the comments. Okay. Great. I don't see, no, um, I don't see any questions. Great. Well, before I think that we... means we've covered everything so thoroughly. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we did. We covered a lot today. Um, well, we had some amazing guests uh, and I just love being connected to all of these people. They're just amazing. And I want to thank everybody for being here. Before we go today, is there anything that anybody wants to share before we wrap up our first open house? Yes. I want to say to Gosha that if you can get this going through the Texas thing and the immigrants... You will never see another immigrant. I can guarantee that. We'll keep them all here in Texas. But I want to thank you for going out there because if you had any impact at all, that's a that's a United States solving problem. I mean, if you can solve that, hats off, Gosha. So, you know, the whole thing is I encourage everyone to really come next year. Yeah. It was only four people from the residential side. There were quite a bit from the commercial uh, division, right? However, I encourage everyone to really come and advocate for your own state. Because what happens is you, if I'm from here, from Chicago, Illinois, I go see my own representatives. Mm -hmm. If you are from, so the more people we can gather, the better, the stronger we can be. Are we, are we going to make a difference today? Probably no. not. However, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. So the more we advocate, the more we come, the more of us really show up. This is really can, this can really make a difference. And it's the last week of March. So put yes. it on your calendar. And it was, it was truly an incredible event. It was amazing. Uh, it was amazing to be there and feel the energy of the commercial division and um, really understanding that we can make a difference, but we can all, we have to all come together. Right. Yeah, that is so great. Well, in the meantime, if we can support through letter writing or anything like that, maybe we should start right. something like that. Um, I think that's a great idea. But also, we should start campaigning early next year, or end of the year to get our members signed up. So I'll join you in that effort because I really want our to. Representatives were very open to yeah. really talking to us. They gave us business cards. They said, please reach out. We are here for you. They are here for us. We voted for them, right? Mm -hmm. So they need to help us. Yeah. We just need to go and voice our need. Yeah. I'll just have bug in John Noder's ear to let him know that we were talking about him, although he can probably, like, you know, his, his ear is itching right, right. now. <laughs> He does such an outstanding job with advocacy for yes. ISSA. And, um, and, you know, I can speak from experience talking with him and he's visited our council meetings a couple of times and they care. ISSA cares just about uh, as much about our residential businesses as they do of all of the businesses that are members of ISSA. There's tremendous care and concern for all of our members um, you know, so that's so great. Well, thank you, Gosha. Anybody else have anything else to share before we go? Erin, should we talk about the regional events? That is something new that we have started as well, right? That mm -hmm. we didn't have before. Right. We, yeah. Yeah, it, it's well, COVID really put a stop to anything that we were doing, you know, any in-person stuff. And so we had started again. We had a region. Our first regional event was uh, in Chicago last year, right before the ISSA show at Gosha's office. Um, and as awesome. JC was talking about, we <laughs> recently had our event in St. Louis uh, at the end of April. 
Our next regional event is scheduled for August 21st and will be in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm actually meeting with uh, the team this week to kind of solidify like the, the education schedule for the event and what else that we're going to do with it. But we're going to be at Castle Keepers House Cleaning in Charleston, South Carolina on August 21st. Yeah. Yep. I was there last year for Made Central. And who, if you have not been there, you need to visit. You need to come to Tom's office. It's incredible. So. Yeah. And it's just such a great opportunity to get to visit another cleaning business office. And, you mm -hmm. know, if you're, you know, have visions of growing that million dollar, two million dollar, five million dollar cleaning business, yeah. um, getting to see these businesses and operations, you just um, you absorb so much just by being there and seeing how they run and getting to ask yeah. questions. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Erin, for all your work on that. And, um, you know, it. I think this is going to be a game changer for us as we grow. One last thing I do want to mention before we go is that um, Membership is such an important part of our success in business. Being part of organizations like ISSA change the course of our business. And it doesn't just change our lives. It changes the lives of the people who work with us and our clients. It impacts everyone our business touches. And so I want to encourage everyone to not keep this your little secret. Um, you know, you have the opportunity to impact a lot of lives when you invite people you know to come to ISSA events with you. So we have that opportunity. We shared the link um, for the upcoming Coffee and Conversation. That is not a members only event. It is open to all cleaning business owners. So please bring a friend. Um, we encourage you to do that and they will be grateful that you did. You'll be their best friend ever because you've introduced them to ISSA. and. Uh, and also with the ISSA show coming up, it's a great opportunity to plan a trip with a friend. And so if, if you know someone who has never been to an ISSA show or is not a member of ISSA residential, this is a great opportunity to do them a huge favor and get them connected and bring them out there and introduce them around because this is gonna be an outstanding show. It's gonna be our 20th anniversary, ISSA's 100th anniversary. So you better bet there's gonna be a lot of really special stuff happening there and you don't wanna miss it. So if you're a member, sign up. And as soon as the um, registration opens up for the general public, make sure that your friends get the early bird special that's out there for non-members and that they're able to come right away. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Erin, do you have anything to say as we're closing today? Well, I kind of do because it, it hits me that we actually have a webinar tomorrow sponsored by one of our regional ambassadors, which is just another huge benefit of membership. And it's a your ultimate marketing checklist to attract clients. So I'm going to put the link in here now. Uh, it is sponsored by Amber Starling, who's one of our regional ambassadors. And we have Shanna Goodman is going to be with us. And she's going to it just looks like a really Social media can be overwhelm overwhelming and marketing can be overwhelming because everything changes from day to day. She is going to, um, what is, I, I was losing my train of thought, offer you a simple framework for identifying and attracting local clients. And so I hands down, I think you want to be at this uh, webinar tomorrow and you know they're free. So please register now and I hope to see you there. Yeah, that's great. And I saw Amber was on here with us live. So that's great. Thank you, Amber, for putting that together for hosting that. Yes. We're excited to provide that for our members. So thank you so much. And thank you everyone for watching this video today. And uh, again, if you're watching on the replay, uh, please add your comments and we will follow up on those. Uh, we are excited to be ISSA residential now in 2023, celebra celebrating our 20th anniversary. And I hope you will join us in all the celebration. I hope you all have an outstanding day, a great rest of your week. And we hope to see you at the next Coffee and Conversation on June 1st. All right, everybody. Thank hope you. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.